with this Balmuda toaster. It's not the biggest of toasters, but it does such a good job. This is frozen, so I'm gonna defrost it. This is just garlic. I mean, what? What'd you say? This is just uh, butter. Okay. Butter, not garlic. Oh, 진짜 정신 없네. Oh, this is ginger. Where's my garlic powder? Hey, ba. Delicious. Good, very good. Mm. Should we try the garlic bread? Small bite, it's really good. It's really crunchy. tough day at work and I remember the first few times this happened at, like during my internship I would like freak out the whole day because I'm a kind of anxious person I get like um, very stressed about making things go right having never been in a corporate setting before like there's a lot of basic things that I did not know how to do so I was like freak out about it the whole day be super stressed but now I've kind of like developed a routine of like okay if things aren't going well during work what do I need to do to like kind of bring it back together it's not to make a big deal out of it but it's like almost like how do I take care of my body my brain so that I don't like meet max <laughs> stress capacity so I went for about a 20 minute walk outside just real quick put on some headphones I actually listened to a podcast this time because I really like how podcasts makes you think about like only what you're listening to at least for me that's what it does and I felt immediately a lot better after stepping just outside I feel like a lot of times because I work from home being in the same place all the time is just like constantly thinking about work and other things so the walk was very helpful. It's one of my techniques. <laughs> Another thing is actually, I used to do this more often, meditation. I know it's not for everyone, but 
definitely, at least for me, it helps to just take a break from what I'm doing, sit on the couch or something. I use a balance app. I think that's what it's called, the balance app. And I use just like the free version and I turn on whatever I'm feeling that's like, oh, do you want to relax? Are you feeling anxious? Are you feeling angry? Like I choose which one I want. And then it goes through like a five, 10 minute meditation of like focus on your breathing, etc. whatever the techniques are. It usually works for me if I put it on long enough, like 10 minutes. So that was my second method today. And I feel like the last, I was like, woo, we are going to dinner today. <laughs> I'm not gonna cook. Um, I'm usually the one cooking because I take on that responsibility. I was like, you know what, today I'm just gonna go out, have fun, get food that tastes good and just like get out of the house for a bit. I think just getting out of the house, changing up my environment is definitely the way to go. If you're having a bad day at work or at school or stuff is happening just like take the steps you need to do to take care of yourself first and foremost that is the most important thing is to just really take care of your mind and your body because yeah that's just the most important thing so hang in there Bye, I get the mild and the medium piece, and I'll get corn, guac, and lettuce. Thank you. It's really warm. post chipotle we actually went out for chipotle i was like should i get in and out or should i get chipotle and i feel like chipotle was what i craved more in and out for another day but i am feeling a lot better than i was before yeah i treated myself out with guac today most of my nights are just editing <laughs> I, I like to take a lot of time just like editing and making sure like it really fits my style and like it connects with an audience aka y'all But yeah, I've been trying to do some new things like voiceovers Do you like the voiceovers or do you like the talking to the camera thing or do you just like read subtitles with music? I would love to know because I really want to work on my vlogs this year because the vlogs are like my favorite piece of content to make and so Let me know so I've been kind of getting bored of my usual Korean recipes to eat for dinner just because I've been making it for so long. So I thought I'd explore some different cuisines and I've never made pad siu before, but me and Wu love this thing. Like every time I go to a Thai restaurant, this is our go-to order. So I have some noodles that I bought. I actually froze them because we had some left over. So we'll see how the texture is. And then I have my broccoli and mung bean sprouts, which is honestly my favorite part of the dish. Oh! And then I decided to use tofu because honestly, I think it tastes really good with tofu. Some garlic and the sauce is really easy. So let's do this.
about everything except for the noodles breaking apart like <laughs> pretty, pretty good i think it's a shingo? little bit more shingo than last time it's actually a lot shingo yeah <laughs> we have more sauce i think we should go to ranch 99 every week to get the noodles <laughs> mm. it's really good mm. 